This is a man who lives in the Middle East who simply wants a job, and he is not alone. Their demands fueled the uprisings that swept across the Middle East and North Africa. Half of them have lost hope and aren't even looking for a job. There are others who work in low-quality jobs in the informal sector, and the formal sector absorbs only 19% of them, a very small proportion when compared to Eastern Europe and Central Asia's 40%. Startups create most jobs around the world, even in MENA. They created 92% of jobs in Tunisia and 177% in Lebanon. But very few startups enter the market each year, and firms don't grow. The majority of them remain micro firms, while the large firms only account for 10% of employment. So why is this? The answer is MENA's restrictive policies, like the restrictions on foreign investment, the complicated business regulations, the unequal enforcement of rules by tax and labor inspectors, and also the energy subsidies that discourage investment in labor-intensive industries. As a result, there are 320,000 fewer workers in labor-intensive industries in Egypt relative to Turkey. If such policies are costing jobs, why are they in place? They create privileges that benefit only a handful of politically connected businessmen. These privileges include facing lesser red tape, enjoying exclusive operating and importing licenses leading to monopolies, being protected from competition, receiving the lion's share of energy subsidies. This system of privileges, where politically connected firms get unfair advantages and other firms can't compete, severely costs the economy. It lowers firm entry and reduces job creation. So is there a solution? In principle, the solution is simple. Remove these policies that create privileges for a few at the expense of millions of workers and entrepreneurs. However, in practice, safeguarding fair competition from the interests of powerful elites requires reforming institutions and increasing access to information. It is time to level the playing field to bring jobs and prosperity to everyone.